Hello, I'm Bill Litton from the School of Screen Printing. I'm here today to show you how to coat a screen with a liquid direct emulsion. Uh, you'll notice that the lights are on in this room. Uh, the truth is that although the emulsion is photosensitive, the small amount of UV light coming from the overhead lights in this room are not enough to expose this emulsion. It would take uh, 30 minutes or more to actually do any harm to the emulsion. So we're safe coating screens out here as long as we don't stay out here in this room light uh, with a bucket uh, sitting out in the room light for hours on end. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a screen that's been degreased. Okay, It's going to have to be degreased so that there are no fingerprints, oils, contamination of any sort, no dust, lint. Everything's off of it. This screen has been cleaned completely and allowed to dry. And this is a human roller frame. It's been taped off. It's ready to go. All we got to do is coat it right now. We have some uh, liquid direct emulsion in a bucket, and we have a scoop cutter. The scoop cutter comes with a protective cover. This protective cover is not to allow you to leave emulsion in here overnight and then put this cover back on to protect it. This cover is just to protect the edges from becoming marred or dented so that they might damage the mesh. So that's the only reason for the cover. So you take the cover away. There's two edges on a scoop cutter. There's a round edge and a sharp edge relatively sharp, sharper than the other. The, uh, there's been some misconceptions about, uh, you read on forums and you read people making statements that the sharp edge gives you more detail. Hello, it's wet emulsion. The wet emulsion, no matter how it's coated, is not going to make a difference which edge you use to give you the detail. The detail is happens after it's dry, okay? So we want to use the round edge to put the emulsion on the screen in the first place, the first coating that we do. We'll use the sharp edge later to make face coats, but, in, but for the initial coats, you want to use the round edge, because what you want to do is you want to put as much emulsion down as quickly as possible, and that's what this round edge will do for you. Next, you're going to pour the direct liquid emulsion into the scoop cutter, and you want to make sure that you don't spill it. That roll of paper towel is sitting there just in case we do make a, a mistake. Now, there's nothing in here that's going to hurt your skin, and so after you stop the flow, you can use your finger to wipe the liquid emulsion back into that bucket. It's a good idea to get it off the top surface because when you put the lid back on, that glue, that this emulsion will act as a glue and cause the, uh, the lid to stick uh, to the bucket, which is going to be more difficult to get it off of. We fill this scoop cutter about half full to three quarters full of direct liquid emulsion. And as you can see here, okay. And what we want to do is we want you can do this in several different ways. You can do it on the floor, you can do it on a tabletop. Some people like to lean it against the wall so that they can use two hands. Whatever you're most comfortable with is fine. Okay. We want a little bit of an angle. Remember, this is a liquid emulsion and it's going to flow by gravity. So the more angle you put on the screen, the more emulsion you're going to apply. Okay. We want an angle about like this. Tilt it. 
Make the stroke up. Make the cleaning stroke. Now you can see that we have a nice even coat of the mold. Now all you got to do is turn it around on this side, get it level again, and make one more pass on the inside. And that pushes all the emulsion back through to the bottom of the screen. Okay? Tilt it back, do a little cleaning stroke right there, set this down, and you'll notice that the difference in the color, this side and this side. This side's more of a greenish color, this side's more blue. Okay? We want all of our emulsion to be on the bottom of the screen, okay? Where a stencil's supposed to be. So we're going to dry the screen in this position. If you do have to dry it up like this, be aware that all the emulsion could flow to the bottom and give you a heavier, heavier coat of emulsion on one end than the other. That's not a good idea. It's better to do it like this. Now, you don't want to lay this down on something. Uh, you should have a racking situation where you can slide these into a cabinet, or uh, you could use uh, build up like paper cups, set this one down, on the paper cups, that keeps it up. You want good airflow all the way around. It. Now, the quicker this dries, the better. If it doesn't dry quickly, you're going to have emulsion that, that remains wet and drips down on you. Okay. Now, there's going to be a little bit of emulsion buildup at the very edges from time to time. All you've got to do is take a little uh, vinyl applicator like this, or perhaps an old credit card, and just clean that edge up right there so that you don't have a heavy buildup on the sides. Okay. Very easy to do that. Okay, you want that to, you want that heavy buildup to go away because that heavy buildup will not be able to expose all the way through, and it'll create problems for you later on. That's all there is to coating a screen. Next, all you've got to do is take this screen, put it in a drying cabinet of some sort, and wait for it to dry. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you received some helpful information, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube or Facebook. I'm Bill Hood for the School of Screen Printing, and may all your impressions be great.